ink contained in the popular denture cream Fixident. Chris Cromwell has investigated and discovered why a report in an important medical journal about zinc and denture cream was delayed, leaving doctors and consumers in the dark. It's always good to have Chris here with us. What do you have in your hands there? This big book is over 360 complaints, what they call adverse event reports, that were sent to the FDA from people who were using Fixinet. Now, the question is, if in 2006 researchers found a possible link between zinc and health problems after excessive use of the product, the question is, why did it take another two years for the public to be told? It started getting tingling in my fingertips. All the way up into my stomach and my arms and my hands. For these long-time denture wearers, the symptoms began to appear gradually. I, mean, I started getting weaker and, you know, I couldn't walk right. I don't want anybody to have to go through this. Very hard. Their doctors identified neurological illness and discovered a possible cause, denture cream. You think it was the fix it I can almost guarantee it was the fix it Security. Confidence. They both used fix it up, made by Procter & Gamble, marketed with the catchy tagline, fix it and forget it. But what P&G didn't tell customers for years is that the adhesive contains zinc, which when ingested or absorbed can lead to serious nerve damage if Fixident is used excessively. When you started to have the symptoms and yeah. started to lose different types of muscle control, you kept using Fixident? Yes, because I had no clue. The connection was first made five years ago by researchers at the University of Texas who studied four denture users with neurological disease. And all of them reported that they were using these very large amounts of denture cream. But the authors say the study was delayed in part because of a review by this man, Dr. Kenneth Shea, who wrote, much of the information is irrelevant, little more than speculation. But ABC News has learned that Dr. Shea didn't reveal that he was also a paid consultant to Procter & Gamble, the maker of fix it -Ed. You don't want reviewers having skin in the game as they are objectively, in quotes, reviewing a manuscript. What's more, ABC News has obtained emails showing Dr. Shea improperly provided the research to Procter & Gamble, writing, if you share this study with anyone, please be circumspect because I'm not supposed to be passing an unpublished manuscript around. Look, it is an outrage. This was wrong. This was wrong. That's a fundamental transgression of professional medical ethics uh, and not to be allowed. That is a transgression that is impermissible and indeed is nefarious. P&G declined to address our questions about Shea and in a statement said, we know of no valid scientific evidence that using Fixident as directed causes any ill health effects. And Dr. Shea told ABC News that the research report had objective shortcomings. Both Mark Jacoby and Ann Kaufman have stopped using Fixident, but the damage to their bodies cannot be undone. They're both now suing Procter & Gamble. What has been the hardest thing for you to deal with emotionally in all this? My boys. The time with my boys. Just doing all the things that I used to. Now, you should know that GlaxoSmithKline, which makes the other best-selling denture cream, Polygrip, they decided last year to remove zinc from all Polygrip products. Procter & Gamble, which makes Fixident, elected not to do that. But since 2009, I want to show you this, they now have new label information. You see, oh, my finger's blocking it. See that new label information? And on the back, there's a caution. This contains zinc. Be careful if you use too much. It says use as directed, but does it tell you exactly how the amount That's to a use? good question. No. It says don't use use too much but then again let me show you on the back if you look at the top of the denture it's really on there pretty completely so yeah, right. how much to use is not so evident they say go to the website for more information but question clearly there's some questions here well we're glad that you are on the case yet again our friend and I know thousands of people have already mm -hmm. sent in their stories and thank you Chris and we want you to go to abcnews.com if you have a story that you want to share with us as well and Chris will stay on the case for you coming up get a trimmer you without surgery